I'm going to Alcalá de Henares for a Spanish exchange. Okay, so the weather forecast is good. We're looking at 18 to 22 degrees, which would be nice. We're heading off to Spain. We're going to be staying with host families. We're going to see a few sites, mostly just living with the family and going to school over there, seeing how they live. Uh, have you been communicating with your, your Parker yeah. students? You have, okay, and that's breaking the ice a little bit. I'm really looking forward to meeting my Spanish student. We've been talking over email. Her name's Lucia and we both do scouts. His name's Diego. He lives 15 minutes from the school. Bring something to eat because we've an awful long day. I'm a bit nervous, like I'm a bit of a fussy eater, but I think like when I'm over there, I'll eat the foods and that, but that's the only thing I'm nervous for. Bring a little notebook with you to write down your new vocab, okay? I'm a bit nervous about like the language and my experience of the language, my Spanish isn't as good as their English is, but uh, I'm hoping to learn from it and I know that I have a lot to learn, so I can't wait to go. I think my Spanish should get better because you'd be immersed in it over there. It'll just be interesting as well to go and see what school is like over there for a day and just see the Spanish way of life. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what the culture is like and, you know, the way their days go because I'm sure it's very different and they finish school at a different time and everything. Give yourself plenty of time. Set the alarm to give yourself plenty of time. I don't have your passport in your check-in luggage, please. Yeah. I want to see it when you're getting on the bus. We're leaving at half 3 a.m. from the school and we will be getting 7 o'clock flight to Madrid and I think we land in Madrid at 10 o'clock and we go to the school where they're going to greet us with chocolate and churros for breakfast. It is an early start but we go to be worth it. Adios. Okay. Okay. I'm good, I'm excited. I'm kind of tired but it's okay because I'm buzzed as well. I've flown before but only with my family. I'm a little bit nervous, yeah. <laughs> I think getting up early makes it more exciting. I'm a bit nervous to meet her, but apart from that, <laughs> it should be really good. We were greeted by um, the Spanish teacher here. And we got on the bus and came here, so it was all fairly easy going. We started with icebreakers. We went over, we were in the music room and we were playing some instruments and dancing and getting beats and stuff. So, yeah, it was really good. One, two, three, right. Yeah, my partner's great. Like, she's really, really friendly, very open and really helpful as well. And they're just, they're just great in general. They're really helpful just afraid that maybe he wasn't going to be a nice fella or something or I don't know that maybe we wouldn't get along but he's a lovely lad and we'll get along good. <laughs> he's helping me get along with the Spanish as well. Now. He's telling me about his parents and his family so I feel a little bit of rest now, yeah. Get there and meet the parents. I'm sure they're going to be lovely people. I'm excited to go to the house, but um, like I'm nervous as well to meet her family. And her mom doesn't speak very much English, so it'll be hard to like communicate. But uh, it'll be okay. They're all absolutely lovely people. We were sitting down there having a good chat. Had a lovely big dinner: spuds and tomato and chicken. It's almost just like being at home. No, no, it's Speaking Spanish with the family when I was here at dinner, and they also have really good English as well, but we've been speaking Spanish. Diego, oh, he's an absolutely lovely lad, and he's, he's absolutely sound, and he's just, he's relaxed, and he's laid back, and he's just a very cool fella. Chulo, 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 chulo. He seems to be very interested in speaking Spanish to me and he also seems to be very interested in learning English when he comes over to Ireland as well. He seems to like his chill time as well, like time to have a nap and relax, so I like that as well. Yeah, I was quite nervous because I didn't knew him. I didn't know his face, so I didn't know who was he. So I just called everyone, are you Michal? And when Michal said yes, it was me. He's very nice. I think he's very interested in, in learning Spanish. We had lunch earlier in my house. 
and he was trying to speak in Spanish with my mom and my father. They, they asked in English, but she, I, he answered in Spanish. Porque, eh, de sol, no es posible, uh -huh. I think it's a good opportunity to meet other people and it's enriching. I thought it was actually going to be a very big school, but it was actually quite a small school. It wasn't overwhelming or anything, and the people in it were very nice. The students were all lovely. The Spanish people are very, were very welcoming and warm, and so were the Spanish teachers as well. So they're starting at around eight, I think, and finishing at two, whereas my school would be start at nine and finish at half three. It was different coming to school this morning because we had to get up a lot earlier than we would have at home. We had biology and we did an uh, experiment that I've done before so it made it easier to understand what she was saying, so it was good. It was fairly easy to follow the class, like it was, they were using basic Spanish which was easy enough to do. I speak a little bit, yeah, kind of trying to get used to the language and I'm just trying to make sense of what they're saying and Daniel was there to translate for me so if there was anything I didn't understand it was okay. It's really different here. Um, I like how we're integrated into the family life because um, if we were just staying in a hotel we wouldn't be experiencing the actual Spanish way of life. They're really nice, they don't speak much English, so I get to practice my Spanish a lot with them. And they speak to me in Spanish. If I don't understand something, she'll like say it in another way, so I can understand it. My name is Isare and my partner is Helen. She's really fun and we're really cool together. I think her Spanish is improving. I'm really excited by going to Adam. I like to meet new people and also improve my English and like visit Ireland because I've never been there. I think it's going to be like really green and really beautiful. When we were in Spain it was so much fun and I'm just hoping that they can have as much fun here as we did. I've definitely enjoyed um, welcoming the Spanish students to Ireland. Um, it's great that our, like, our family get to meet them after like, all the time of just talking about these people and like, putting names to faces. When everybody has their chemicals then we will light the bunsens, okay? I am really enjoying Ireland, I think it's beautiful. Drogheda is really nice, it's like, really different from the cities in Spain, so it's really curious to be around here. Yeah, it's been great crack and they've been loving it here. Thank God the weather wasn't too bad. I'd like to think that he's having as good a time as we had as well. It was because Spain was just brilliant. These are the same chemicals that are used to make fireworks. Oh. Yeah, I'm enjoying Ireland. I think it's a very good experience we are having now. It's a very big school. It's like impressive because there are a lot of students uh, everywhere. We did uh, some activities. We did Irish dancing. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Irish dancing. It's so different also from like Spanish. Everything we dance in Spain, it's really different. And I find it really fun. Since coming here after spending the week in Spain, it's been a lot easier because we were comfortable with each other and there was like we were able to talk and we got along really well. Today we're going to Oldbridge um, where the Battle of the Boyne happened. It's really close and it's good to be showing um, like local history. I like Ireland. It's a really green and beautiful country. I definitely got used to listening to them speaking more and I can understand them better now. Like I got used to how fast they talk. Love to stay in touch with them. We will stay in touch and if I'm ever in Spain again or if I'm ever over in Madrid, I'll definitely pay them a visit. I definitely think I have made friends with the Spanish and the Irish throughout this holiday. People I've never met before and people I've just seen walking around the school and just when we get to talk to them, they're really nice people. I definitely enjoyed the exchange. I would really recommend it for anyone else to do it. Uh, I had a really good time and it was great meeting new people and just getting better at like, speaking and listening to Spanish. I definitely will stay in touch. We were talking about him coming back over and me going over to him during the summer, so 
hopefully we can make that happen. It was probably one of the best two weeks of my life and I definitely recommend it to anybody.